Hello, this is Danny from the DEG. Uh, I want to show you a quick little trick regarding uh, Mitchell for all of our Mitchell users uh, when it comes down to uh, parts, diagrams, schematics, um, and page views in here. So users may come across times when uh, they're looking at the component menu of what component they want to work on, but when they go to the part description over here, um, the, you, in the schematic, you'll see all the uh, relevant parts for that uh, repair in this area. Now, in this case, on this Tacoma, we have you know the rear bumper group, and we see pretty much all the parts that are um, applying towards the rear bumper in this part schematic. So we're good over here. But for an uh, event that we're, example, working on the rear suspension, you'll see when we click on rear suspension, we see the axle housing, axles, uh, the rear brake drums, uh, things like that. We go, well, what about the other parts of the suspension, such as like the leaf springs? So user, uh, users can go through a couple different options. They can go right here, drop down from the description menu, and they can... Uh, click on shock absorber manually looking for it and then they can go over here to the schematic and then uh, see that a new schematic pull, uh, came up and then select the part directly from there. Well another trick that we have available to us is we can uh, go back to the rear suspension group and you'll see at the home page um, of the rear suspension we just see the axle housing and the axles and things associated with those parts. Well, over here, if you uh, see right here, you'll see one and two. And what that represents is that there may be a multiple uh, page views for different schematics involved for that group. Uh, for example, in the rear suspension, there's a second page available, which brings up additional suspension parts. So this is a really cool trick, you know, to see, you know, if there's multiple pages, uh, multiple schematics involved in that uh, group um, of the parts that you're looking for. So that way you can quickly identify without having to, you know, go through the description and just uh, scroll down and find that part if you're uh, working off the schematics. Another example here is in the pickup bed. You'll see when you select the pickup bed, you'll see that it shows you the inner uh, pickup liner, uh, the bed liner, as well as a, a rear bed uh, cross member, things like that. But where are the side panels that you may ask? So in this case, we have a second page available to view and select additional parts from as we can quickly go back and forth between the two schematics, which makes estimating um, a little bit quick and easier than having to go through the um, description uh, operation menu uh, to uh, locate that part that you're looking for. So again, a quick little tip is to, uh, if you're finding that you're not seeing all the parts in that one view, Take a look and see if there's uh, multiple pages available, and then that way you can quickly uh, reference those uh, part schematics uh, through there. Well, I hope this was a helpful tip uh, uh, for you, and especially for the Mitchell users. If you have any questions uh, regarding part, uh, labor, uh, things of that nature when it comes down to the estimating systems, uh, please visit our website at www.degweb.org. You can also view our database or you can submit an inquiry or just read a lot of uh, useful information that may help you. Well, I hope this uh, tip was uh, helpful and useful. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.